welcome back to a brand new video. Yes. So yes, we are in the middle of taking apart a motor. This is my this and I wish was and I'll show you that right there. So as you can see, see you had a pole start engine. Your pole start would be wrapped around here, and then there would be a metal casing which would have your thing for your grabbing. Now when you do that, this it actually moves the cylinder. You guys can see I'm spinning it down at the corner of the camera. Well, that time it went all the way in. And as you guys can see, there's right down there, which has a lot of gears and stuff. So this head is like junk, like look at that. That needs cleaned. This was a work in progress engine, but when I was taking it apart, I busted all, like right here and stuff. You guys see that? I busted that, so now we, if anything, we'd have to get a whole brand new one of these, which would cost so much money. Get a lot of new oil and get a, actually a few new bolts. And some new oil casting and some oil baskets. I think that's what they're called, I'm not sure. Okay guys, I hope you like this little video. Hold on, it's not on just yet. There you guys go. So that's what that's what this cylinder pumps up and down into there. That is um this is where you'd have a black piece. This is, is this is the black piece. That would be hooked onto this black piece, but this would have a cover on it, and that would be hooked up onto that. So that way that when that pumps up and down, it also has a spark plug somewhere. I can find it. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. I'll a spark plug to Then once it, um. Oh, yeah, they're here. So then once it shoots a spark in the carburetor, lets in some gas, and down through this little thing, you, see, you guys remember, it will shoot spark, and it will make an explosion. Well, just a, a small one. On this, so say it was all the way up. It make an explosion which would force it down really fast. It would go straight down into there and come up and come up again. Just gonna keep doing that. That's what we'll do over and over, and this thing was burning quite fast. I'm gonna spin as fast as I can go. Wow. Now, once we get this thing off, that would let us see all of where the bunch of bolts would go all around the side and up through there. Once we take this off, they should crack in half. Literally, like, you should be able to take these and spread the motor apart, but it's not going to be done for a while. But, um, when we get to that part, I'll start filming. I'll start filming, I promise, and promise. Well, guys, I hope you liked the little engine video. And go right up. Well, yeah, the, here we go. And somebody who actually likes to take apart an engine, you can barely even find this on, um, 
YouTube. I'll try to see if I can get this kick started to crank over and see if I can get this thing to crank over without um it over here. I'm pretty sure that um oh yeah. Oh yeah guys, I forgot to show you something. A timing chain. Where'd I put it? If you get oh yeah, here it is. If you guys don't know what a timing chain is, here's a cam. It's this big piece and shaking around. Hold on, I gotta do something. Oh damn, get on the cam. Get on the timing chain. Yeah guys, what's on the cam is the timing chain. That. Yeah guys, I hope you like this, like, what, six minute long video? Yeah guys, I hope you have a great day. Vlogging out, Gavin Fraser.